I've come to the conclusion that Discord isn't banning scam servers because I've been monitoring a handful of Discord scam servers and they still haven't been taken down. Now, all these servers involve one specific scam. You get a DM from someone saying that they're looking for a collaboration manager or a community manager or a moderator, and all these jobs are going to pay you for your hard work. It's time to get that free money. So you join the Discord server and, of course, you need to verify. And unfortunately for me, their verification system is down. Now, this is Discord's doing but Discord is doing some weird funky stuff, I'll talk about it later, but that also means I need to show you screenshots of how the scam works. So you join the scam server, the server itself has a verify channel, and it has a CAPTCHA bot, and there is a verified check mark next to that bot. So you go through the system, you click on verify, it tells you to click here on this link. So you click on this link, it'll take you to join-sukibits.com, and before I could even verify my Discord account, this video sponsor Guardio leapt into action. Guardio is a browser extension that that keeps you safe while cruising around the internet. It's super easy to use and blocks you from visiting malicious websites and downloading malware. With Guardio blocking over a hundred times more harmful websites than its competitors and getting featured by Google with over one million users, it's a great tool to keep you safe. Guardio protects you from simple things like fake Discord websites all the way up to websites that pretend to be games or any legitimate software, but they're actually malware. Now, you might think you're safe on Discord with two-factor authentication, you aren't. If you download malware, it can easily bypass two-factor authentication. The hacker can take your Discord token, but they can also take your cookies and passwords for other websites and accounts. Now, Guardio doesn't just block websites. In fact, it also scans the internet to let you know if your personal information has been exposed in a data breach. And it also alerts you in real time if a new leak happens, so you can stay on top of everything. You can share this protection with four other people, and you can monitor it using your phone. Now, you might have a harmful browser extension installed, or you visited a sketchy website in the past. But but you can scan and detect any malicious activity or extensions by heading to guard.io slash NTTS. If there's something bad, then you can use Guardio's seven-day free trial to remove those threats. If you use my link, you will also get 20% off your monthly subscription. So, install Guardio today, and thank you Guardio for sponsoring this video. Now, if I didn't have Guardio letting me know that this was a scam and I continued on, I'd be led to this website, where it'd say beep boop boop beep. Yes, scammers are getting very intricate with their language, but it tells you to verify your user and all you need to do is just log into Discord. And of course, this is not the Discord website, but if you either scan this QR code with your Discord app or you log in, you will give the hackers access to your account. And that's super awesome because guess what? You just got a new job. You become the new advertiser that just spams everyone with this scam, and you'll probably end up getting banned off Discord for doing so. So we know how the scam works, but how is Discord letting these scammers get away with doing this? Well, it's pretty simple. If I report this scam bot for being a scam, the bot gets taken down and everything is hunky-dory, right? Well, here's the thing. Remember at the beginning where I talked about how this verification system was down? Discord took the verified bot down, but the scam server still stays up. Now, this server has over 140,000 members. Of course, most of those are botted and there's probably like maybe 4,000 people actually in this Discord server. But the super important thing is that when the server stays up, all those advertisements that have been spammed, those still work. Assuming Discord hasn't taken down this scam yet, the invite that I'm showing you right now should lead you to the scam server. So if the server is still up, you're still going to have victims that are going to slowly crawl into this Discord server, and all the scammers need to do is make another verification bot, and all these people in the Discord server will be pinged to verify, and now you have a new wave of victims. Oh look, another CAPTCHA bot here. This, <laughs> this is probably what they're going to be using. I don't know how I found this. They'll make a new bot, it gets taken down over and over and over again until eventually the scam server is actually taken down. There actually was one scam server that went on a complete rampage. It started off as a Nabu Faces scam. And once their website got taken down, they moved over to being a Bad Bunnies NFT scam. And then they went to a Sugibit scam. Then they went to a Kirin Lab scam. And finally, after four different types of scams spanning a week or so, they finally got terminated by Discord. First, the most obvious question is, how the hell are these scam bots getting Getting verified. This thing has a verified bot thing. It's faking CAPTCHA bot. This was made on June 23rd. How is Discord fumbling the bag this hard that people can make these scam bots? Well, I have the answer. What these scammers will do is that they'll copy some code on GitHub. They'll add the bot to a whole bunch of different Discord servers so it could be verified because there are minimum requirements. And one of those requirements is that you need an ID, a real piece of ID to verify. And what these scammers will do is they'll either buy it off the dark web or you're going to lose all faith in humanity when I say 
this, they're going to convince some kid to send a photo of their ID for like $20. Kaboom! Now you have a verified Discord bot, and all you need to do is just change the code of the bot to become a scam bot. And kaboom again. Now you have a verified scam bot, just like this CAPTCHA bot here. Wait a second. How does a verified scam bot have the same name as a real, very well-known Discord bot? Well, they could just change it, right? No! How to change my verified bot's name. Once your application is verified, unfortunately there is only one situation in which you can change its name. You need some sort of legal copyright or DMCA takedown notice due to your application's name in order to change it once verified. So the only way to change your bot username is to possibly be sued by another company. So what that probably means is that Discord is verifying these scam bots even when they have a name that is obviously impersonating the real CAPTCHA bot. Why is Discord allowing this? And the best part about this all is that if you go to CAPTCHA bot's real support Discord server, they have a whole section talking about scams. And the worst part about it all is that the person that owns the bot can't do anything about this. We aren't Discord. We don't work for Discord. Discord's developer verification team is simply being idiotic. I could get my 10-year-old cousin to figure this thing out. Do these look the same? Yes? That's probably bad. And you might be thinking, okay, who's stupid enough to fall for this? Normal people, I tell you. I had someone that messaged me a video idea saying that CaptchaBot is hacking people. Was the actual CaptchaBot hacking people? No. They just got tricked by one of these malicious CaptchaBot scam bots. Don't trust verified bots. And guess what? You can't even trust verified Discord servers anymore. Look at this bad boy. A verified server has a scam CAPTCHA bot. I guess verified means nothing in this day and age. I mean, Twitter did a fantastic job. In reality, what happened here is that one of the admins or the owner got hacked and the server got turned into a scam server. Now you might be asking, why do these scammers even hack into Discord accounts in the first place? Oh baby, you're in for quite the treat for today. Now first, if you get your account hacked into and your account has nothing of value, you get turned into one of these advertising scam accounts. The second reason why these scammers want to hack into your account is because crypto bros are actually mentally gone. Look at this Discord bot. It's called tip.cc. You can send and receive Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Monero, Bart, Booba coin, whatever, all on Discord. Yes, almost 36,000 Discord servers use this stupid bot that allows you to send cryptocurrency to people using Discord commands. And if you use something like this and someone hacks into your account, they can just send your money to whoever the heck they want. Anyways, also, if you do get hacked, they could make you join some more dangerous scam servers. This specific Discord server has been advertised everywhere. Now let's take a look at this Discord server. It's collab.land. This is a bot. It's not verified. So, you know, my faith in Discord has been restored a little bit. The server was made on July 10th. It is the 26th today. This bad boy's been up for 16 whole days. And let's see what it does. When you click on let's go and you click connect wallet, it's going to take me to connect.collab.claims. And when I visit this website, guess what happens? Well, first I get saved by this video sponsor Guardio. I'm not going to go through another ad read, don't worry. But I click on click here and it tells me to connect my Discord wallet. If you connect one of your wallets, my Coinbase wallet. Oh, I'd like to connect my wallet. Click on more wallets. Oh, I get a nice little QR code I get to scan. And what happens when I scan this QR code with my wallet? It takes all your stuff. Now, one super important thing I want to point out is that these scams actually get taken down really quick, but it's not by Discord. There are anti-scam people that don't want you getting scammed. So they spend their free time reporting these websites on amazing tools like fish.report. And what it allows you to do is that you can report a website and it'll tell you what to do. And when you do all of that, the website gets taken down pretty quickly. How quickly are we talking? Well, I reported this website here, or maybe I did, I kind of forgot. But the website was created on June 15th and it was reported on June 17th at 1820. Remember that. The domain was suspended in two hours hours and 27 minutes. This scam NFT Discord server, it was created on July 14th. It has been up for 12 days. Discord, get your act together, man. This is just disappointing. This is sad. Anyways, that's all I got. Bye-bye. Love you. Mwah.